Okay, so in the last video, we, uh, well, we got our interface cleaned up just a little bit by hiding the important stuff and uh, showing it when we need to show it. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can extend our queries because right now we are storing all of our query schema definitions inside of a single type query that exists inside of our register APIs. So one thing I want to do is first, well, let's copy this entire type query and let's paste it into user.graphql. And then we can go ahead and delete these first two and just leave our user type user. I can go ahead and save this, and then I can come in here to our test schema and delete the user from this. Now at this point, uh, we should be hitting an error. Now you'll see that our site should be down. Yep. And this error is going to let us know that type query was defined more than once. So if you tried to do one of the challenges that I gave you in one of the other videos, you would have run across into this issue already. Now, this brings up an important point. Types such as type query or even type user or even type mutation all have to be unique. And right now we've pretty much kept them all unique. Even though we were planning on having more mutations and we're planning on having more queries, we only have one type definition so far for each of those. So how do we actually make it so we can have more than one? Well, we simply need to extend a defined query. So I have my extend type query. And now let's go ahead. I need to make a modification for this file for Meteor's bundle to understand. And uh, we should have that error go right away. So check back, refresh. Hey, everything's all good. And likewise, we can do the same thing with our uh, resolutions.graphql. Now, the only difference here is that, well, we have this high query. We have it defined in this resolver that's sort of just taking up space at this point. We're not using it. In fact, uh, I, I think I removed any anything left over from that high query at all. If I didn't, we're going to know in a second here, but let's go ahead and clean this up significantly. So I'm going to just one delete test resolvers because we flat out, we don't need test resolvers. I'm going to delete it from the merge. I'm going to delete the constant variable named test resolvers. And I'm also going to delete test schema, but not before copying and uh, copying this entire type query. Okay. So let's delete this. And I'm gonna hold off on saving this file. I'm gonna delete test schema from here as well. I'm gonna hold off on saving this file just so uh, it marks the change in these files as well. Now you'll notice that I'm going to leave type query as type query instead of extend. Save this resolutions file. Then let's save our register API file. And let's head to our app, which we should see no errors, nothing about it being defined more than once. That's because we now only have two query schema definitions, one in resolutions type query and one in users extend type query. You'll notice a little bit something if you uh, had uh, quick eyes, you would notice that resolution schema comes before user schema and our type defs. Let's see what happens if we change that order and we can paste this in here and just reverse that order. Let's check our terminal because I think we should be seeing an error, but I might not be correct on that one. And it looks like it actually doesn't matter. Uh, if you know otherwise than this, let me know. I was under the impression that if you extended something before it was defined, uh, GraphQL would throw an error. It doesn't look like it's throwing an error though because we're loading up user schema, which extends it first. I'm going to move these back to the way they were just so we can have them back to the way they were. So if you can tell me otherwise, I was expecting uh, the extend to have to be defined after the original type query, but it looks like it works either way. Uh, again, if I'm totally wrong on that statement, please let me know in the description of this video. But as you can see here, we are now extending our types. And if we needed to ever have a user mutation, we would want to extend type mutation. The extend keyword is most common in stuff like queries and mutations. Uh, I can't think of a use case for extending your actual schema, but you can let me know if there was one. 
I know there's a use case for defining a new schema that's an extended uh, version of a, another one, but uh, just simply extending type user, I'm not quite sure what the use case is there. But again, if you have anything, let me know. Okay, so this video, basically we cleaned up our register APIs file. We now only have our two type defs. We only have our two resolvers. We have none of our actual queries, schemas, or resolvers defined in this file anymore. We're importing them all. So that cleans things up enough for us to move on. And what we're going to do when we move on is start to have a custom resolver for a field in our user schema here. This is going to be one of the cooler things in GraphQL and definitely something you're going to use all the time. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you want to help support these free tutorials, head on over to leveluptutorials.com forward slash store or forward slash pro, sign up to become a pro, get access to all sorts of exclusive content and exclusive series, new series coming every single month, including some excellent, excellent GraphQL content and uh, might I add maybe GraphQL and React Native stuff. So check it out, leveluptutorials.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.